What's up guys, Graham here. I wanted to make a guide on the new Conquest map, The Steps of Infinity. A lot of people are getting confused on how it works because the mechanics have changed versus the old Stillmore map. So, I would like to first give props to RG for making such a good guide on the forums because that's where I'm pulling a lot of my information from and where I learned how to do the new Conquest map myself. So props to him and let's get started. Alright, first off this is the map that we're working from. This is the new Steps of Infinity Conquest map and there are of course three factions like the last time. There are Nightfall, Oathsworn, and Dominion and they start at their own particular points of the map. If you remember how the Stillmore map worked, it was all about pushing the timer, whether it was through kills or getting 65% of the extractors, and then the real fight started. It was a method of taking away from other people and putting percentages on your team because it was all about how much of the extractors your particular team won. Well, now it's not like that. It's about points, and the points do not go away. You getting points does not take points from the other team, so you cannot let one team get a lead like you could have in the Stillmore map. This time, if somebody gets a lead in points, they are probably going to try to push the timer so that you have less time to catch up to them and it's a completely different way of playing and one that people are having a hard time adapting to. So how do you earn points? Well there's two main ways of doing it. One becomes very apparent as soon as you get into the match and if you look at your map you see that there are two forts. A lot of people are labeling them Fort A and then there's Fort B. Well inside those forts in the center spawn source stones and they look just like the stones that you would pick up in the old conquest map and buff up your extractors with well you pick up the source stones and you take them from one fort to the other and turn them into the extractors at the other fort and that will earn you 75 points each stone and that is the most apparent way of doing it However, that is also the easiest way to be stopped because once they see somebody running with a big glowing source stone on them, they know to kill that person and stop them. The other method of getting points is through dream generators. And how you use those is if you look at the map here, you see the big yellow spots and those are where the dream generators are and you go up to them and you buff them up just like you would the old extractors and you buff it up five times and it will net your team 35 points so it opens up a whole new avenue of winning these matches people are using stealthers and just errand runners in order to run from one generator to the next and buff them up and most people are thinking the stones are the main way to win and that's making it to where the team that is running the dream generators generally pulls ahead very fast and wins very easily the amount of leads that I've been seeing in these matches is a lot of times one team will be winning by more than 2,000 points or more at a time so it's pretty crazy that one team knows how to win while the other two are trying to run stones and getting into big fights to where they can't turn them in. So that's the basics on this new Conquest map. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you want additional information please check out RG's post on the Rift forums. And as usual guys my name is Grim and I'll see you tomorrow.